Today, we're going to be talking about how to be the best dressed when attending a wedding. Hi, I'm Leah from Rampling Co and I'm joined by fashion consultant Chris Modo. Hi Chris. Hi. So, what can you tell us about this look? Okay, this is an outfit I've put together um, really to help people decide what to wear as a wedding guest. I think there's a lot, of, a lot of confusion about when you get invited to a wedding as a male guest and it doesn't say something very specific like black tie or morning dress, what they should wear. So what I've done here is taken the, the classic navy lounge or business suit and given it some interesting accessories that just lift it up a bit. So there's three things I want to talk about. First thing is the tie. I think picking the right tie is important and this little red and white puppy tooth is very formal, just looks very elegant and simple. Yeah. If you don't normally wear a pocket square, now's a really good time to start wearing one because it just makes your suit look much more festive and much more social. Um, and then if you're brave enough, a little dandyish touch is the contrasting double-breasted waistcoat. Um, the type of waistcoat you might see with, with more formal dress, but it's, it's totally acceptable to wear with a lounge suit, and it just lifts it up from being a non-office outfit. The key to picking the right waistcoat is to pick, I think, plain colours, uh, and in the colour palette, I always think light greys, beiges, cream can look very nice in summer, but the waistcoat you should avoid is like the, is like the mismatched suit waistcoat. This is the type of thing you should wear, this little like navy blue self-check or glen check. The type of waistcoat you wear as a part of a three-piece suit, it doesn't really work as a, as a separate. Um, of course, if you've got a navy blue three-piece suit, that's a perfect thing to wear as well. But I think the contrasting thing is a little bit more interesting, a little bit an interesting change of pace. Just to certainly be the best dressed guest at most weddings. Are there any colours that you would avoid in this combination? I'd avoid black. Would you? Except maybe black shoes. I think black shoes are acceptable. Mm -hmm. I think black shoes would be very elegant, very dark brown or black would be the best mm -hmm. shoes. But no, I wouldn't put any black into this. Mm -hmm. Now this is a really lovely look. Can you talk me through how you styled it? Yeah, sure. This is a, another way of just taking your navy lounge or business suit and making it great for a wedding or an evening event. Um, no waistcoat this time, it's a lot cleaner. Um, and a slightly bolder tie. It's a navy and silver dice check tie, accentuated with this beautiful um, Mother of Pearl stick pin. Oh, it's really lovely. I love the combination here. I really love those. I think it's a really easy way of maybe lifting up your look to a non-office affair. Um, it's an old-fashioned little thing. You often see them with morning dress at smart weddings, and it looks perfectly appropriate in this occasion. I'd always wear a pocket square, and because it's so monochromatic, I've picked out some of the navies in there to introduce some other shades as well. If you're enjoying this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So Chris, I see you've gone for a summer look here. Yes, this is a really nice stone-coloured linen blend suit. Um, but for a wedding, what I've done to it is add a sky blue shirt and a darker blue tie for a degree of formality. There's a lovely texture to this suit and I just felt the plain colours complemented it really well. The tie has a matte tone to it, so it's not shiny. Um, and I just think it looks quite dressy, particularly with a very subtle but dark complementary pocket square. Would you pair it perhaps with a tie bar? You could put a tie bar with it. I prefer to leave those to office wear because I think they look quite business-like. I prefer to wear a tie pin for, for a wedding or a festive occasion. And as well, I see you've gone for a pale blue shirt. Would you go even lighter, perhaps, white creams? I think cream would look a little bit insipid because it's a very warm shade of sort of stony grey and it would look a bit too, tone on tone. Um, white could look nice, a good sort of fresh, crisp white shirt could look smart. But I think the sky blue and the navy really complement the colour and the texture of this suit. Chris, I see you've gone for a more relaxed summer look here. Yes, this would be great for an informal wedding, um, one with a relaxed dress code, of course. Um, no tie, open neck shirt, um, slightly more flamboyant pocket square to keep that sort of dressy element to it. And although this is a suit jacket, you could equally pair it with some white or cream trousers. And would you wear this in the UK or abroad mainly? Weather permitting, I would say. I think this is very much a warm weather outfit. All the products featured are linked in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.